When you think of a successful stand-up comedian, sitcom actor, host of NBC's Fear Factor, and UFC color commentator, you're thinking about Joe Rogan. He makes a fortune as the host of his own podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, and according to reports, he gets $100,000 per episode. Joe's wallet is playing serious games given that he releases a new episode of his podcast every other day. Joe's stand-up comedy routine consistently sells out theaters, and he makes many public engagements each month, resulting in an estimated yearly income of $20 million, giving us a more precise estimate of how much Joe Rogan is worth. Well, if you make $10 million a year, you're probably going to make a few extravagant purchases. And that's precisely what we're going to look at here. How Joe Rogan spends his million dollars. Joe was born in Newark, New Jersey, and raised in Massachusetts before moving to Los Angeles in 1994 for better job possibilities. It appears to have been a prudent decision as he was offered the opportunity to host the NBC stunt game show Fear Factor in 2003. He was able to buy a luxury home in the beautiful Bell Canyon Hills as a result of this. The modest property is 7,573 square feet and was built in 1978. It includes five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a swimming pool, and two fireplaces making it ideal for Joe and his family to live in. Bell Canyon, located in the Semi Hills in eastern Ventura County, California, is home to a number of celebrities, including actress Alyssa Milano, R&B hip-hop artist Trey Songz, and rapper and music producer The RZA. Joe found the perfect area to spend his $2.2 million in his beautiful California state. Joe rakes in a significant sum of money from ad revenue and other forms of income with his podcast. Thanks to those lavish properties, he's got to make sure his money is right. As an example, his well-known podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, was his principal source of income. It brings out Joe's true self because the show allows him to express himself freely. However, there are only two outlets through which Joe would like to express himself, and they are podcasting and stand-up comedy. Not to add that he has a multi-million dollar podcast facility inside a 14,000 square foot warehouse to provide his listeners with a terrific podcast experience. The latest computer audio equipment was installed in the Joe Rogan studio, including industry standard Shure SM7B microphones, vocal dynamic microphones, and Apple iMac 27-inch desktop computers. Fans will also receive the full Joe Rogan experience thanks to a multi-camera production system. You have to spend money to make money, as they say. And Joe Rogan appears to have made the correct investments. Joe Rogan prefers to take a swim in his very own float tank as a leisure activity. This is what he does to unwind after the hard work he has gone through. Joe Rogan's ultimate zen experience is achieved in a sensory deprivation tank commonly known as a float tank. The water in the tank is heated to the same temperature as the human body and is filled with 800 pounds of Epsom salt. After a while, you won't feel the water and will think you're floating in space. Joe prefers to unwind and reflect on life while relaxing in his sensory deprivation tank. Given the value of this ultimate relaxation experience, Flow tanks can cost anywhere from $2,000 to $30,000 depending on the model. 
plus a pallet of Epsom salt can cost up to $1,000 and monthly maintenance costs can range from $20 to $100. Given Joe Rogan's high quality of living, it won't be surprising if he chose a top-of-the-line flow tank. After all, someone who works out as hard as Joe Rogan deserves the best relaxation experience possible inside his expensive flow tank. Joe, in addition to owning a flow tank, wears a variety of Casio G-Shock watches, which are described on the official G-Shock website as the most durable digital and analog digital watches in the business. Military troops, law enforcement troops, and outdoor enthusiasts can all rely on it. Joe was caught sporting a casual pro track timepiece at the UFC 225 weigh in 2018, which comes as no surprise. During his discussion with SpaceX and Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk, he wore and highlighted this watch. Joe was also seen wearing the Moon Master during his interview on the Smoking Tire podcast with automobile and watch aficionado Matt Farah when they discussed the $10,000 Grand Seiko watch. Matt Farah, on the other hand, thinks G-Shocks are awesome because they're a watch guy's tool and watch that's highly functional and durable, which seems to match Joe's lively personality. Aside from his jewelry watch, it's only natural for a big, strong man like Joe Rogan to be a muscle car enthusiast. Yes, muscle collar is a term used to describe high-performance vehicles with exceptionally powerful engines, which also happens to be a true description of Joe Rogan's body and strength. Joe has owned a number of muscle cars, including a 1970 Barracuda and a 2014 Ford Mustang over the years. Indeed, he frequently admires other muscle cars on the road. However, as the suspension on his Barracuda failed, he had to sell it. But muscle cars aren't Joe's only passion. His luxurious collection of pimped outrides includes a Porsche 911, Mercedes, and a modern Tesla Model S, just to name a few. The highlight of Joe Rogan's car collection and what car enthusiasts have been waiting for is a stunning 1965 Chevrolet Corvée Stingray, which is probably the only well-known vehicle from his collection. With a classic design and powerful engines, they are most likely a product of modern technology. It's a resto mod, which means it's been both restored and modified, so it doesn't just look like it's from the 1960s. It also boasts a modern touch under the hood and in the cabin. Joe also injected some of his own personality into the car's design and engineering, proving that Joe Rogan isn't afraid to spend his own cash on a sweet set of wheels. Joe does not seem to be like any other millionaire you may know who enjoys buying a lot of expensive houses and living a rich lifestyle. Instead, he prefers simple relaxation and a unique taste of luxurious and lifestyle. On or off camera, he also preferred to express himself in his natural form. As we look at how Joe Rogan spends his million, do you think his lifestyle was moderate compared to other millionaires? Or is he keeping his spending habits a secret? And do you think Joe Rogan is wealthier than his reported net worth of $25 million? Let us know in the comment below, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Lux Life, hit that subscribe button. Cheers!